I hate to tell you, I had no hobbies. <laughs> Medicine was my hobby. <laughs> I was consumed by it. I loved it. He was one of the first to suggest the use of antihistamines for nasal and cold symptoms. I'll tell you, he knows everything. I was born at the old Misericordia Hospital in 1918. Edmonton in those days was about, in my time, was around 50,000 people. We had one traffic light at Jasper Avenue and 101st Street. I was brought up during the Depression days. There were no jobs for young fellows. My father was very upset that I had nothing to do in the summertime. Mrs. Baker, Dr. Baker's wife, said, uh, why don't you come and work in our lab in the Baker Clinic? So that's how I got interested in medicine. And uh, when I graduated, my first place of work was in the Baker Clinic. I enjoyed my experience uh, in, in medical school. We had some good teachers and we had some bad teachers at that time. Uh, which is completely changed, you know. I think the teaching at the university is, is superb. I'm one of the best in the world. Gradually, people like Walter McKenzie came, and uh, the uh, university never looked back. Became very interested in internal medicine and in pulmonary medicine, and went to the eastern states with his wife, my mother, who he had just married went to Pittsburgh, New York, and Boston a year each, and did a phenomenal amount of work. He further became interested in a very new area called allergy and came back to Canada to practice pulmonary medicine and became essentially the only allergist in Western Canada. You know, in the late 40s, early 50s, we had virtually no medications and Ted was involved in the development of antihistamines, in the development of uh, inhaled or nasal steroids for treating various forms of allergic disease, including allergic rhinitis. And also with another drug that was discovered early in the 60s was a drug called disodium chromoglycate, which we now use largely as uh, a medication in the eyes. He didn't do it for the glory, and he certainly didn't do it for the money. He just liked ideas and, and was very free in, in suggesting these ideas to other people. Ted was one of four physicians that were central in treating the polio epidemic in 1955 in Alberta, in Edmonton. He combined a fantastic intellectual curiosity and a love of medicine with an ability to make these kids who weren't well and were frightened to feel comfortable and feel that he was interested in them as a person. And his, his memory is phenomenal. He remembers every patient he ever saw. He's still the guy I call if a patient has an allergy problem because he keeps so current. One of the government medical committees, I worked for them uh, up to uh, uh, six months ago. But uh, they and I decided to separate. <laughs> they found out how old I was, I think. <laughs> I mean, here we are, we're still together, 65 years. Seems like yesterday. So wonderful, and he still knows everything about medicine. I love the practice of medicine, and I like, I like dealing with people. And uh, that, was, that was my life. <laughs>